In this video, we're going to simplify algebraic fractions. So we can do just like we do with numerical fractions. So on the top, I'd say I've got 2 times x times x times x over 8 times x. So I can cancel on x, because I'm multiplying, and I can cancel through by 2. So I'd have a 1 here and a 4. So what does that leave me with? Well, x times x on the top, so that's x squared uh, over 4. Okay. Let's look at this second one here. Let's move that down. So what have I got for this one? Well, I've got uh, 5 times a, and on the bottom I've got 15 times a times a times a times a. So I can cancel an a, and I can divide through by 15. It gives me 1, and it gives me a 3. So what have I got on the top? Well, I have got a 1. It's not blank. And I've got on the bottom, I've got 3, and I've got 3 a's, so a cubed. Okay. Remember that if you get rid of everything on the top, like we have here, you're still left with a 1. The bottom still needs to be on the bottom. Okay. All right, let's look at the next one. Oh. <coughs> so 4sf squared over 20sfg. So there's an s on the top I can get rid of. There's an f, and I get rid of one of the f's there, and I can divide through by 4, so that would leave as a 1, and that would leave that as a 5. So I'm left with f on the top, that f there, and then I'm divided by 5 is there, and the g, so 5g. Okay, let's move on to our last one, this one here, this one with brackets. So what have I got? Well, I've got x minus 5 times by x plus 2. And on the bottom, I've got x plus 2 times x plus 2. So I can cancel on x plus 2 on the top and bottom, one of those brackets. So I'd be left with x minus 5 over x plus 2.